also given to this year is called vikruti this word of course is from sanskrit the meaning of this word is uh, a change we want a change of course but the change is for good what good we want we want good heart we want good wealth we want good health we want good family setup and at the same time we want a congenial atmosphere for the life to sustain on this planet earth we want all these changes for good so the name of this year what we call as vikruti we pray that lord will help us in acquiring them in addition to what we regularly do we are conducting a wonderful yagam for this year yagam is a way of worshiping the lord of this universe according to our ancient vedic scriptures we need to worship god in different forms for different requirements to be fulfilled like if you want just a health you have to worship the lord in the form of sun and if you want just wealth you want to worship you need to worship the lord through the fire but if you want just knowledge you have to worship lord shiva but if you want release from all the bondages then you have to worship the lord in the form of vishnu this is what it is said arogyam bhaskara dichet sriyam ichet hutasenat iswarat gnanam anvichet moksham ichet janardanat this is what it is said but what we really need and what we really want is of course a fine line between both we may be in need of very few things but we want so many things to be acquired and enjoyed so each of our desires may not be fulfilled all the times but whatever our needs should be fulfilled at any cost we want not just money but we want a peaceful heart we want a peaceful environment we want a peaceful life in general so anything that is peaceful anything that is prosperous anything that is good and anything that is really healthy is to be blessed to the human kind through the goddess mahalakshmi which is called sri mahalakshmi is the divine spouse of lord mahavishnu and she is the controller of all the wealth and all the good because we want everything good so we need to worship sri mahalakshmi and 
we have to offer our prayers and also put all of our needs before her and she definitely will take care of us. Here is a funny um, mentioning about Sri Mahalakshmi by one of the great oldest poets. He prays in a nice sloka like this. Lakshmi Kshamasva Vajaniyamidam Duruktam He was uh, requesting the Divine Mother saying, Oh my Divine and Beloved Mother, I am going to say something which may be painful to you. You may not like to hear such words from me. Then Mother said, Okay, that's alright. Children speak so many things. And parents will, you know, always appreciate them. They like to hear such things. Come on, go ahead. And then the poet said, Andhi bhavanti purushaha tvadupasanena Oh my beloved mother, whoever worship you, they become so blind. That's what he said. What are you saying? I don't want to make them blind. Oh, it's okay, mother. But whenever people worship you, whenever people meditate upon you, and when they become, you know, they become subject for your grace and then become wealthy, the moment they become wealthy, they forget the rest of the world. Andhi Bhavanti Purusha. Then mother was uh, a bit unhappy and then she asked him, Hey, where did you see such things? Can you tell me? Then he was explaining, Mom, I don't want to show the smaller examples here and there, but I want to show you a great example of Lord Mahavishnu, who is supposed to protect the whole universe and who is supposed to take care of the entire life is simply sleeping on the serpent bed. It is just because he is meditating upon you. He is always with you and he is under your shade. And he says, No chet kadam kamala patra vishala netraha narayana swapiti Pannaga bhoga talpe. Mom, our Lord is not seeing me. You know, if God sees me, I think I would have been flourished. I would have been something else in this universe. But why I am crying like this? Why I am suffering like this from so many problems? Why these many financial recessions? Why this crisis for me? It's because you know, His grace is not there on me. And why His grace is not there? He is supposed to be a one having wide and compassionate vision and eyes. Still He is not looking at me. What is the reason? Why He is sleeping on the serpent bed? Yes, the very simple reason is He is meditating upon you and you showered your grace on Him and that worked on Him as anesthesia and that's how he is simply sleeping. Narayanaha Swapiti Pannaga Bhogatalpe he said. You know, of course, it is uh, to make a fun of you know the things that are observed. Because it's with mom and dad, the universal father and mother, anything can be done. They don't take it very serious and at the same time they try to understand and they bless us. We want the blessings of Mahalakshmi. We want the blessings of her divine spouse Narayana. Ultimately we want the Lakshmi Narayana grace on us. We want Sri and Narayana's compassion on us so that we can enjoy good health good wealth, good family, good society and ultimately the recession which we are now going through should be removed, should be eradicated.
and we should live in a wonderful world that's what we want few things can be done of course by us by doing so many plans and strategies but many things should be done by the grace of god grace of god has to be obtained or should be obtained in two ways one by way of meditating upon them and the second is praying through the fire through the sacred fire which we call as yaga yagam is yaj deva puja we do deva puja in several ways but offering oblations through the fire chanting specific mantras which plead or which uh, or in the form of pleading and which ultimately will please the lord have to be chanted and the process of yagam is done according to the vedic systems sri yagam is a wonderful process which has been observed by none else than the king of devatas indra when he lost his wealth and when he was crossing through so much hardship then he worshiped mother through sri yagam through different mantras and then he regained his kingdom and became indra now the world is going through a very very painful uh, process of economic recession across the world we want to come out of it our jet usa along with all sister concerns is planning to make a mass chanting for two things one is for the peace of the world and then for the people to flourish with good wealth and health it's a mass prayer of course 108 good vedic ritviks are going to chant different mantras and they add their prayers for world peace and wealth along with thousands of devotees devotees in us particularly are chanting sri mantra since october and they are aspiring the lord's grace should be on all of us their desire is that everybody together should flourish sanga chatvam sambadatvam samvomanamsi janatam veda is recommending us to be like this we have to think together we have to walk together we have to flourish together so this unison ship is very much required nowadays for which a wonderful program has been uh, uh, floated by jet usa organization in new jersey we invite everybody to participate in that and enjoy the warmth of the divine couple lakshmi and narayana their grace and good will the yagam is for 9 days and there are 33 altars yagya kundas in which the mantras selected from vedas talking about different the constellations and stars are to be chanted because every one on this planet earth born in some particular star and constellation and if that is i think probably energized through those mantras and the the fate of that person will be altogether changed for good so there are 27 kundas allotted for 27 stars like ashwini varani etc and there are five kundas dedicated for chanting all the mantras of vedas and then there will be one acharya kunda in which all the santi mantras are to be chanted and 
the required stuff is offered into the fire for the world peace. Every day, all the devotees together chanting different stotras and mantras for world peace. It's a unique program of its kind and it will be started on 23rd of July and will be ended on 1st August 2010 in uh, the uh, road of Cranberry Ash Jiyar Ashram and uh, so many devotees are participating and all the Ruthviks are going to perform this Sri Yagam with all sincerity and with all devotion because it is for the world peace and all the activities done there are just for the sake of benefit of devotees. So let's all join and let's enjoy the divine grace of the couple, the universal Mata and Pita, the universal parents, Sri and Lakshmi Narayana. So we invite you all and our volunteers of Judge USA and Vikas Varangani will give you all the needed information and they are always ready to serve you in participating in Sri Yagam. Let's all get the blessings of Sri Mahalakshmi and Narayana always. Jai Shri Manarayana.